All right, guys, big news in the world of AI. GPT for All just dropped version 3.0, and it's a game changer. If you're not familiar with GPT for All, it's this amazing open source app that lets you run large language models right on your desktop. No cloud, no sending your data to big tech companies, it's all local and private. So what's the deal with this new version? First off, it's completely free and open source. You can download it right now from Nomic AI slash GPT for All. It doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, Windows, Mac, Linux, it doesn't matter. And here's the thing, it supports thousands of different AI models. Now let's talk about the improvements in version 3.0. The team at Nomic, the company behind GPT for All, has completely revamped the user interface. It's sleeker, more intuitive, and just way easier to use. They've taken user feedback seriously and designed an interface that anyone can navigate, not just tech experts. One of the standout features they've enhanced is called Local Docs which is seriously cool. It actually lets you chat with your own documents using AI. You could ask it questions about your work documents, your research papers, or even your personal notes. And all of this happens right on your own computer. Your data never leaves your device. In a world where privacy is becoming more and more of a concern, this is huge. Now, let me throw some numbers at you. This project is the third fastest growing repository on GitHub of all time. For those who don't know, GitHub is like the grand central station of software development. GPT for All has over 250,000 monthly active users, 65,000 stars on GitHub, and 70,000 monthly downloads of its Python package. That's a lot of zeros, and it shows just how much impact this project is having. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The team behind GPT for All started this project about a year ago. They were concerned that AI technology was becoming too centralized, controlled by just a few big corporations. Their goal was to democratize AI, to make it accessible to everyone, not just the tech giants with deep pockets and massive data centers. They kicked things off by releasing their own AI model based on something called the Stanford Alpaca model. Then they created this user-friendly interface so regular people like you and me could use these powerful AI models without needing a PhD in computer science. Now, with version 3.0, they're taking it to a whole new level. The new design is all about simplicity and ease of use. You don't need to be an AI expert or a software engineer to use this. If you can use a smartphone, you can use GPT for all. It's that straightforward. Let's talk more about the improved local docs feature because it's really exciting. Imagine being able to chat with an AI about your own files, your documents, your notes, your data. You could ask it to summarize long reports, find specific information in a sea of documents, or even help you brainstorm ideas based on your existing notes. And remember, all of this happens on your own computer. Your information stays private, which is a big deal in today's world where data privacy is such a hot topic. The team at Nomic has put a lot of work into making local docs more powerful and user-friendly. They've revamped the local vector database. That's the technology that helps the AI understand and retrieve information from your documents. They're using the latest version of something called Nomic Embed Text, which is basically a super efficient way of turning text into a format that AI can understand and work with. But here's the thing. They're already working on more features to make local docs even better. They're constantly listening to user feedback and making improvements. It's clear that they're committed to this vision of making AI accessible and private for everyone. Now, while there are other user interfaces for language models, many of them are closed and proprietary. They don't put the same emphasis on privacy that GPT for All does. And a lot of them require a pretty deep understanding of AI technology to use effectively. GPT for All is trying to bridge that gap, making this powerful technology accessible to everyone. So if you're interested in AI, if you care about privacy, or if you just want to explore cutting edge technology, GPT for All 3.0 is definitely worth checking out. It's bringing the power of AI to your desktop in a way that's never been done before. You can experiment with different language models, chat with your own documents, and explore the possibilities of AI, all without worrying about your data being sent to some corporation's servers. It's totally free and open source, so you can use it, modify it, and even contribute to its development if you're so inclined. It's a great way to learn about AI technology and be part of a community that's shaping the future of accessible AI. And hey, if you do try it out, come back and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear about your experiences with GPT for all and how you're using it. Are you using it for work, for fun, for learning, etc.? All right, now, if you ever wished you could ask Google really complex questions and get a detailed step-by-step -step answer, well, that dream might be closer to reality than you think, but it's not Google making it happen. 
It's a company called Perplexity, and they've just dropped a major update to their AI search engine that's got everyone talking. So Perplexity has supercharged their pro search feature with something they're calling multi-step reasoning. Now that might sound like a mouthful, but it's actually pretty cool. Basically, it means their AI can string together multiple searches to tackle really complex questions, but that's not all. They've also added some other neat tricks to their AI toolbox. For example, it can now execute code and even solve math problems thanks to a partnership with Wolfram Alpha. If you're not familiar with Wolfram Alpha, it's this amazing computational knowledge engine that can crunch numbers and solve equations like nobody's business. Now, Perplexity is using what's called a freemium model. That means you can try out the pro search for free, but there's a limit. You get five pro searches every four hours without paying a dime. If you want more than that, you'll need to subscribe to Perplexity Pro, which costs $20 a month. That's pretty much in line with what other AI services are charging these days. But let's talk about how this actually works in practice. The folks at Android Authority gave it a test drive and they were pretty impressed. They threw a really complex question at it, asking Perplexity to compare the returns of two stock indices over 10 years, while also factoring in currency exchange rates. That's the kind of question that would have most of us scratching our heads and opening up a bunch of browser tabs. But Perplexity broke it down into four steps and delivered a comprehensive answer. Now, it's worth mentioning that this upgraded pro search seems to be rolling out gradually. The testers found that it worked best with a US-based IP address. So if you're outside the States, you might have to wait a bit longer to get your hands on it. But here's where things get a bit controversial. Perplexity has been in hot water recently over how they get their information. There was an investigation by Wired that suggested Perplexity might be ignoring some standard web signals that are supposed to prevent content scraping. In other words, they might be using content from news publishers without permission. And another report raised concerns about the sources Perplexity uses. Apparently, they sometimes rely on pretty obscure online sources, even LinkedIn posts. Now, why is this a problem? Well, if you're pulling information from unreliable sources, you run the risk of spreading misinformation or what we call in the AI world, hallucinations. That's when an AI confidently states something that's just not true. So the concerns about content scraping and unreliable sources are definitely worth paying attention to. It's a reminder that while AI can be an incredibly powerful tool, it's not infallible. We still need to think critically and verify information, especially when it comes to important topics. So what do you think? Are you excited to try out Perplexity's new pro search? Or are you concerned about the issues that have been raised? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you've already tried it out, I'd love to hear about your experience. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.